What's up everybody? It is your boy Tim back with another video and I'm currently lounging in a hotel room jacuzzi. You know, um, I'm, I'm a shower man by nature. I don't think I've taken a bath in probably 20 years. Um, so to see me like submerged in water is a big deal. I don't swim. I don't jump in swimming pools. This is big for me. This is big for me. And, and this is about as far down as my head will ever go in this water. You will not catch your boy underwater. Like this is this is fully submerged for me. So it's kind of a big deal. But I rented this room and I'm in this jacuzzi um, because I wanted to relax. I wanted to relax. I feel like now more than ever we need to take every opportunity to relax that we can. When I lay my head down like this, like I'm in I'm in heaven. This, this is beautiful. Anyway, I figured why waste this opportunity, this wonderful relaxed opportunity, why waste it? Why not make a video? The lighting's good, I'm chilling, I ain't got nothing else going on, so I figured I'd make a video. And in today's video I want to talk about a topic that I've covered many times, but I get a lot of questions about it, so I figured I might want to do a, a, another full video on it, so that new people who come to the channel, they get a lot of new subscribers, hi, welcome, I'm Tim. Usually I have clothes on. Um, <laughs> new subscribers who come to the channel, uh, they might want to know the answer to this question. So the question is, um, why as a 41 year old man, do I not have a wife and kids? And the next question is always like, well, do you want wife and kids? So I will say when it comes to kids, to children, I unequivocally do not want kids, okay? I unequivocally do not want children or kids. Now, I, I kind of never, the reason I don't have them now is because I never I never really wanted them. There was a time in my life when I was out in the streets where I was like, if it happens, I'm cool with it. And I did have a couple scares in my 20s. I did have a couple scares, turned out the kid was not mine. Uh, you know, straight up Billie Jean. Um, <laughs> straight up Billie Jean, the kid was not my son. Um, you know, but a couple times that happens. Any of y'all know who've been out there, you know, putting in work, thotting it up maybe when you was younger, you know, it's, it's part of the game. It happens. Um, and at that time, at least in one of those scares, I was like, you know what? I actually was like, you know what? If this is what the universe decides needs to happen, I'm cool with it. And I kind of started looking forward to it in one of them, but like I said, turned out wasn't mine. Um, but after that, I once again, once I got like to, to 30, I'm like, nah, I don't want no kids. I don't like I I, the, the, I never the thought of legacy means nothing to me. Like a lot of people want kids because they want to pass something, you know, they want the family name to continue. I don't care. Sorry, pops, but you know, sorry, dad, but um, the family name is not going to continue through me. Um, I don't have a brother, so it's probably gonna stop here. And to me, that like I don't, I just don't, I don't care enough about. I love my family. You know, but I don't care enough about stuff like that for me to raise kids for like 18 years, probably more like 28 years these days because the kids don't move out the house, which I don't blame them. I don't blame them. But um, yeah, I just never saw the point. Don't care about legacy. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't care about cheap labor around the house. Um, a lot of people's like, well, who's going to take care of you when you get older? Um, you know, the same thing that takes care of me now. The universe has got me. God has got me. I don't think He's going to stop at like 60. Uh, and be like, well, you should have had kids, you know, like, so I, I, I'm a grown man. I intend to, uh, you know, by the grace of God and with the power uh, that I have uh, through the universe, take care of myself until death, hopefully. And if not, well, then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm not going to make decisions in my life based on what ifs. What if you get old? You no. Kids are expensive. They're dirty. They're grimy. They talk back. You got to feed them every day. You know, it's just like, it just never appealed to me. Some people, that's all they want to do is have kids. I get that, have them. But kids never appealed to me, so blessed that I never had any. And now that I'm 40, 41, um, I ain't trying to have kids and be like on social security at my kids' graduation, at my kids' like high school graduate. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, so we're done with that. We're done with that. Um, and honestly, you know, when, when you get a certain age, a lot of guys want to admit this, but you know, the, the, the machinery don't exactly rev up and run like it used to. You know, the lawnmower starts, but uh, it don't really cut the whole yard. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean? So I don't think I really have to worry about it no more. So that's kids. Never want any, don't want any now. Hands down and quickly. Now, when it comes to a wife, this is a little different. Um, 
First off, I'll say I don't think I will ever have a wife because I don't really understand this ideal of marriage as we see it. And marriage as we see it now involves signing paperwork at the courthouse, having a marriage license, getting the government involved. I don't understand why if I find true love, I need to get the local government, the local constabulary involved. You know, love is, is one of the greatest forces in the universe. I feel like it cheapens it by like making it legal. Like why do I need to like get the law involved with my love life? Not doing it. So I don't think I will ever, am I sweat? I'm sweating in here, boy. Woo, this is good. I'm, I'm sweating, these pores are getting opened up. I'm sweating. This is good. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't want to get the, the, the authorities involved in my love life. Never have, never will. Now, I'm not against finding a life partner. If I find a woman and like she wants to be in my life, I want to be in her life, and we stay together till the end of our life, cool. I'm cool with that. Um, also too, one of the things with marriage, I think it makes it very final. It's like, I don't like, I just don't like putting like labels and like pressure. If I find somebody uh, to be in my life, wants to spend time with me, I, I don't ever want to, this is just me personally, I understand the other side of it, but I personally don't want to like, for rich or for poor, till death do us part us. No, if that happens, cool. But if we're together five years and then she wants to move on, I want to make it as, as, as easy for her as possible. If after five years we agree, yeah, this isn't working out, you know, it was fun, but let's go like date other people, cool. Cool. I don't want to have any strings attached with the government and laws. Now we've got to get it done. Come on. You know going into marriage that if it goes wrong, you're going to have to go through a nasty divorce. I don't want that. I don't want that. That just doesn't make sense to me. So as far as marriage, definitely not going to happen on paper. As far as finding someone to be in my life, I kind of take that on a day-to-day -day basis. You meet someone, you get together, you know, you'll have fun, and that lasts as long as it lasts. If it's a year, cool. If it's five years, cool. If it's until we're 80s and we, we died side by side, cool. I, I just don't like to put like restrictions on love or be like, oh, this love has to last. Like, I just don't, y'all know me, I'm not big on labels, I'm not big on rules, and it just seems like marriage is one big rule one big label, like it's so much work. Now, I want my life to be as carefree as possible. I don't want anyone to stay with me and stay in my life because they don't want to go through a divorce. I want whoever's in my life, the moment she decides she doesn't want to be with me, to be able to be like, I don't want to be with you anymore. Yes, it might hurt. Yes, I will cry. Yes, I will cry. You will not see me for three months. Trust me, if, if, if a five-year breakup goes bad. But it is what it is. Those are my thoughts on kids and marriage. That is why I say I will never get married. Hopefully I will never have kids. Um, not really. A lot of people are like, are you mid-toe? Once again, that's a label. Am I a man going his own way? Yes, but I believe everybody, men, women, children, everyone should go their own way. Every person should go their own way. Um, so I wouldn't really call myself mid-toe. Um, it's not a statement I'm making. It's nothing against women. Why I say I will never get married. Um, I love women. Anyone who knows me knows this love women um, and if the right one comes along that wants to be in my life long term I'm open to it but if five or six come along and just want to be in my life for a year or two I'm open to that too so those are my thoughts on that just wanted to make a video about it um, you got it folks folks if you don't have a jacuzzi at the Kerbo um, find you a hotel nearby rent you one and just relax Uh, 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 uh,